Hey guys, um, excuse the wind because it's really windy here at the moment in Scotland, but um, today I just wanted to talk about a game called Proteus. Um, it came out a while ago, but um, recently we got it free for our PlayStation Plus subscription, and um, I just tried it out this morning with my daughter, um, just after I woke up, um, just put it on for something to do because she was wanting to me to turn on the playstation and i couldn't be bothered listening to those uh ar robots again but um basically i went into it knowing that the game is pretty much about like kind of before playing it I, all i knew was it was about you know kind of sound and about environmental uh effects creating different sounds um but that's all i knew so when i went into it um after playing the game and stuff it is pretty much like um it's I, I see it more now about um experiencing um a really 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 strange emotion um through sight and sound and a really um different art style a really really minimalistic art style um but altogether it creates this uh, really strange experience which I came away with like really really um surprised at how much it um it did impress me um so basically from what i played there was like four levels um i don't know if it happens like this for everyone because it seems a bit random but the first level starts out and it's um all bright and colorful and the world has a few different um creatures in um there's like and it's a really, really pixelated world. So you start off in the middle of um, the ocean and you see this island in the distance. You you walk over to it. Um, as soon as you get on, everything like the sound of the leaves falling off the trees is making a little ping, ping. Um, everything from the frogs hopping in the grass is a little doing, doing. And it all comes together and creates this little magical sound effect. Um and it's all really really colourful and beautiful and the really really minimalistic pixel pixelated art style um works really well for the game game. And my daughter just had me um chasing the frog around, telling me to chase it around and then there's these little all what I could think were like dancing mushrooms that were kind of bouncing up and down going <laughs> It's quite funny. But um yeah, so we walk around and I just basically said to her, because from what I thought going into it, it was just like an open world that you just kind of go around and do whatever and there's no like end to the game. I didn't realise there was like a point to it or anything. Um, So I just said, where do you want to go, Caitlin? And she said, over this way. So I walked over this way, um, find um, not too many creatures in the first stage, you know, a, f a few different things making sounds. But then eventually as we walked and walked, um, it started to get darker and we saw like the sunset coming down in it and then it started to get darker and at night time we saw these little white things uh, glittering in the distance so I decided to walk over to it um, and then they started to chime together and make all these sounds and then they started swirling around me and created this white circle and I kind of started going around it in a circle and then I eventually stepped inside and everything went really really white and fuzzy and then the screen just went all white and then it took me to what I assume was the next stage. Um, the second stage was actually um, pretty much the same as the first, very colourful, um, but it had a lot more activity in it. There was a lot more creatures, um, different flying creatures. There was little flies buzzing around and if you ran through them it would shoot your guy. Your, your, um, your, you would kind of go really fast. Um, there was these little white dragonfly type things and there was more of the frogs and the leaves and everything and I walked around this, there was a few more mountains so I tried climbing up them um, to look for things, um, walked around and we found these um, these little creature things, I, I don't even know what you would call them but I just followed them and it actually took me to this little kind of cabin in the woods as it started to get darker and um, I tried to find a way in, there was like a door in it but there's no way to at least I think there's no way to e enter it. Um, so I tried entering it, couldn't get in. Um, saw more of these little white things, followed them. It came darker, we looked up at the sky and yet again that white circle started to come around and everything went all white and then we went to what I assumed was the next stage. Um, the next stage was um, a lot less uh, life in it. There was less creatures and 
little sounds happening. It was really, really foggy and more of a brown, duller colour scheme to it. Um, but we looked around, we found these like little white things that hopped. We tried catching them all. We, after looking for them for quite a bit, I went up to the top of the hill because the hills were even higher in this one. Got up to the top of them, I looked down and I saw that glittering white circle right in the distance. So we started making our way over there. When we eventually got there, it took us to what would be the final stage. And the final stage was a really, really dark, dull, white kind of stage with these black trees that were um, had no leaves on or anything. Everything felt really, really eerie and really, really dead. And you felt really lonely and... You know, it's got a really, really weird feeling to it. Um, keep walking down through the snow. It was glittering. Kept walking down the hill and little twinkles in the snow. I walk through the snow, less and less trees. Eventually, I started to walk and then I realised there was nothing around me. And I turned back to look and there was nothing. I couldn't see any more of the trees, so I didn't actually know which way I was going. I kept walking, I kept walking. And I literally must have kept walking for like three, four minutes, holding the controller in, going forward, and was just lost. There was nothing there apart from snow on the ground and twinkles, um, gl- the glistening kind of sparkle of the snow. And as I kind of kept going without even realizing it, um, I looked down and then I I realized after about five minutes of walking that I was actually in the air. And that the ground was actually really far down and I was actually slowly getting up higher and higher. And then I came to the clouds, I breached the clouds, came through the clouds and saw all the stars um, and the moon up in the sky. And um, then all these shooting stars started to come down. Um, And it was just really, really amazing the experience you get from that that little gameplay the whole game must have been what about half an hour or something at most um after the shooting stars though the eyes started to blink and go go shut and then it took you back to the main menu and then it gave you the option to play again there was another um feature added to the list at the start of the main menu but um it was just really really um amazing how it the game takes you from a really happy calm feeling at the beginning to then a more adventurous, excited feeling, then you get this kind of loneliness, and then you get this really dark um, feeling of uncertainty, and then you get this brief burst of relief towards the end of it, and I just thought it was really, really amazing how this game manages to, within a short period of time, take you from feeling one way, and take you through all these different emotions, and then bring you right back at the end of the game i just thought it was a really really magical experience and i think anyone who is into games that don't involve shooting all the time if you if if you do like really weird art style game it's more of like a a piece of art a piece of visual art think of it like that don't think of it as like a game because it's not really so much you're playing anything you're you're really just more experiencing this um emotion this and all the different sights and sounds and they, they all play with your brain in this really weird, wonderful way. And I just think it's a really fantastic um, thing to go and experience. Uh, and it's free now on PlayStation Network, so it's something to download and try out. And I definitely recommend trying it out on a big screen TV with the volume up really um, high because they, they I think they're offering the PlayStation Vita version and the, the um, PS3 version, is it? I can't remember. I, f- I think yeah, I think I played it on my PlayStation Three. I don't know if they've they've got a PlayStation Four version, um, but um, yeah, it's just really really amazing, guys. I I really think you should go and check that out. And uh, thanks for listening to this uh, game chat video, and I'll see you at the next video.